Lashes lipsticks, which I know I've shown at one point on my channel. I can't remember when, but I got these a while ago while I was searching for like a perfect nude lip shade for myself. So you can see they're all quite similar, uh, but you can definitely tell that they are a smidge different, especially by the stickers when you see the actual lipsticks. Self, themselves. It's a little more difficult, especially these two, but you can see that they're different. I also thought a lipstick video would be so nice because of all the click clacky sounds we can get from opening and shutting the containers. So let's apply these first. And I also have my makeup wipes to just remove each lipstick as we try them on. I just picked one up randomly. This one is charming. Now I slightly feel like I remember this one being my favorite, but I haven't um, worn lipstick in a while. I usually just wear lip liner. We're not going to be using any lip liner today, just, just because. Just I don't want to. <laughs> so let me grab a mirror here. I'm just going to use a little makeup mirror. Oh boy, this mirror's kind of dirty. That's all right. Um, I hope you guys can't hear my heater. It's making some strange noises. And the app that I used to use to get rid of background noise got rid of that feature, so... So annoying. <laughs> but here's the first shade. Let me bring it all the way up for you to see. Definitely looks nice with my skin tone, I think. And it has a little bit of... It is a relatively cheap lipstick, so it kind of has that, like, cheap makeup smell, but it's sort of, like, nostalgic, like the makeup you used to use as a kid. So I like it. My lips are a bit drying. So I have quite small lips. So it does not take a lot of lipstick to cover them. But this shade is super pretty. Oh my gosh. That was like so easy to put on. Did you just see how fast that was? Now, I'm actually used to um, erasing my Cupid's bow, if you know what I mean by that. Um, if you follow me on social media, you might be able to notice. I usually just take a lip liner and I sort of go over the cupid's bow and make my lips kind of like circular. So it's kind of refreshing seeing like the natural shape of my lips. It looks very pretty. Although, I'm still going to do it how I usually do it. Oops. Oh god. Almost just ruined a very good product. So what do we think of this one? I'm gonna give this one like a 9 out of 10 or like an 8 I think this one's really pretty what do you guys think? we'll say uh, number 1 is charming and I give it an 8 out of 10 and you can write them all in the comments if you want you don't have to though I'm gonna try to clean this mirror off a little because it looks dirty there we go that's a little better, thank you alright, let's grab a little makeup wipe sounds. Okay. Do you ever, like, sit at your desk or something and, and um, just, like, play with makeup, like, put all different lipsticks, lip glosses on, try different eyeliner? There's, like, a trend going on. And it's like pre-shower makeup, <laughs> like when you do your craziest look. I remember when I was um, like younger and I had a lot of free time. I still do, but <laughs> even more back then. Um, I would just sit at my desk and do the craziest makeup. If I would mess up, I would just go nuts and put like eyeliner all over my face. So it's funny to see that that's like trending now that we all do that. You could swear that you have like a unique experience and it's not. <laughs> okay, the next one we're gonna do is shade Happy and it's our number two blush. Uh -uh. It's the second blush we're 
formula goes. These are super cheap and they're nice and creamy. I like them. This one is a little... Oh, you know what? This one is kind of cute. I don't, it's a little orangey for me, I think, is the problem I'm having with it. What do you guys think? I would give it like a 5 or 6 out of 10. Number 2, Happy. What do you rate it? It is kind of cute for like fall. I think this is a nice fall lippy. Alright, let's take it off. I like taking the bottom off and then I look like Kim Possible. Not that I ever watched that, but... Okay. I know my lips are going to be chapped after this because makeup wipes and like reapplying lipstick always has my lips chapped. Okay, this is the last Essence one in the shade Freaky. <laughs> and this one's number one. I wish we did this one first so it would be satisfying, but Freaky. Okay. And let's see.
it's still cute, but I'm, I'm still in love with the charming one. I want to low-key put this one on again at the end to, like, compare it to this one. Maybe I'll put it on again right now, just because that's the point of the video is we're applying lipstick, right? Just because I'm kind of shocked that my favorite one is, like, this one's looking better. Right? Let's try this one again. I know we already saw it. I'm just curious, and we're, we're relaxing anyways, and it'll be quick. I don't know, they actually look really similar. <laughs> I don't know. This is why I have so many lipsticks that are, like, basically the same color, because I get so confused, if I'm being honest. This is the one everybody's always like, what is that? So this is a MAC lipstick in the shade Twig. Keeping in mind, if I have any MAC lipsticks, it's because I found them at TJ Maxx. Um, I don't really have any MAC makeup besides that, so I don't know if this, like, is still exists. Oh, I just found a leaf on me. So just keep that in mind, because, you know, a lot of stuff at TJ Maxx is, like, retired stuff, so. Well, let's do this. I love the tiny ones because they apply perfectly on my baby lips. Oh, this one's dry. I think this is old. I might have to throw this out. satisfying, perfect for ASMR. Okay, now you've seen these guys a million times, so of course I had to put it in the lipstick application video. Uh, they look a little, uh, but these are the MAC lipsticks I have that are red. I went on a hunt one day for red lipstick because I'm like blonde and fair, so I thought I would really like red lipstick, and um, I found these at DJ Maxx again. And I never wear them because I always get like insecure in them last minute and take them off before I leave the house. Uh, so let's try them on. I'm going to do the one that I think I'll like most, which is this deep, dark red color. Very pretty. Very like uh, evil queen, you know. Um, and I'm talking as if I've never tried these on. And it's only because I haven't tried them on in so long. I don't remember really. Stick on my face. Let me get it off. Okay, let's try it. Ah, oh, so hard to apply because it's so dark. I have to be more careful with the red. I already messed it up. I'm kind of 
see what it looks like on because again I don't remember what it looks like applied wow that red one really dyed my lips holy moly oh wait oh wait this one's kind of pretty it's kind of like less intense it feels a smidge more casual if that's possible
this is really pretty. And you can spooch with it, because it's stained. It won't come off. Oh. Well, that hand already had lipstick on it, but let me show you. <laughs> Blank. Lip stain. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. It was very cute, short, and sweet, but still relaxing, I hope. But it is now done.